Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I just want to show you how to get Honda Hack on the head unit in case you have K-Tuner V1.2 and you want to see your tuner view on your head unit or if you want to download apps such as Netflix, Waze, Spotify, and all the other stuff. So first things first, you're going to want to go to autohack.org. Right there on my head unit, um, I'm on slash root, but on your phone, you're more than welcome to do it on your phone or a computer if you have a computer. But you're going to go on autohack.org and you're going to buy which one you want. I got the Honda Hack Pro mainly because of the benefits you have, the navigation, reverse, when you go in reverse it lowers down your music for you, and just a bunch of, you know, extra stuff that you can't do with the basic, but the basic is 10, the pro I believe is 25, and once you buy it, they'll email you a authorization code, so with the authorization code, you're going to go on your head unit, you go in the browser, you're going to go to autohack.org slash root, you can click get start, and then you're going to type in your authorization code, which I'm going to type in mine right now, 004. 410360 oh shoot 6021 done and hit okay and after that it's gonna do that um, I already did mine but I just want to show you that so I'm just gonna go home because I don't need to do that and close out all my applications but essentially once you do that it's gonna download and it's gonna go back to your home screen and when it goes back to your home screen you're gonna have Honda hack right here and once you go ahead and open that you can go ahead and install apps through this or you can uninstall apps as well if you want tuner view you're gonna have to go on ktuner's website which i'll link the link down below to get the tuner view app it's an apk file you're gonna go ahead and download that on your computer load it onto a flash drive or a hard drive whatever you happen to have and you're gonna plug it into that usb right there where you plug in for your apple carplay or auto android or the middle console i use the middle console it doesn't really matter what you use and once you plug that in you're going to hit install apps, which I'm actually going to uninstall K-Tuner really quick just to show you how to do it. So I'm going to uninstall it. But essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to go onto the Honda Hack menu, install apps from storage card, or if you want to do it online, you can do that too. But you're just going to have to type in the website. And I have Tuner View on my flash drive, so I'm going to hit install. And it's going to be installing it for me and once it's done installing another thing you're going to need to do if you haven't done it already plug in your k-tuner without it being on your car just unplug it from your car plug it in open k-tuner and go on to tuning right there hit special commands for v1.2 and personally i disabled the bluetooth pin code you don't have to you could enable the pin code but i just did disable bluetooth pin code that way it can connect without a pin so then it's going to be installed on your computer, of course, after you just did what I told you to do. So once you have your Bluetooth enabled with your V1.2, go ahead and open the TunerView app, which is going to be on the home screen as well, right here, TunerView. And then it's going to load it up. And to get it started, you're going to have to scroll from the left side of the screen because it's not connected yet. So swipe left or swipe right from the top left corner, hit connect. And then usually you'd scan for devices, but it's already there. So I'm scanning and it's gonna say available devices, but I don't think it's gonna show the K-Tuner because I've already connected to it, but essentially do that and hit connect and it's gonna load your stuff, which whenever it decides to connect, it will connect any minute now. So there, that's it. And you also have different things you can do within the head unit with the TunerView app. Again, everything is going to be linked in the description. So if you want to just go ahead and check that out, you can click it. Um, so if you want to set colors, you can set colors. I'm probably going to do red. Maybe a little darker red, like right there. Same thing with the other one. A darker red. Like right there. Save. And there you go. I don't know how to change these white ones. But you could also change the layout of your mapping if you'd like. Switch the layout. You have different varieties to choose from. But me personally, I like the way it is. And that's pretty much it. You can do a lot of things. If you want to mess around with your thing, you can do that. Um, I'm perfectly fine the way it is. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But that's essentially how you do it. Thank you guys again for watching another video. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below on what you guys would like to see next. 
definitely worth getting K tuner. So I suggest you get that. And if you go V1.2, this is definitely a neat trick to see your temps and everything that you need to keep track of. Thank you guys again for watching. Till next time. Don't you lose sight of what